My name is Peter Anyangnyo. I am currently governor of Kisumu, which is one of the 47 counties in Kenya. Uh, Kenya as a nation is divided in two types of government. The national government, which is like a federal government here, and the counties, which are like the states. So when you're talking about counties in, in, in Kenya, don't think about counties here. Uh, that is a lower level of governance. Uh, our counties are more or less equivalent to the states. I think there are many things to learn. One, because um, international business reaches out to all corners of the earth. If you have an opportunity to be an apprentice in an international business enterprise or serve for some time as an intern, it's worth, it's worth taking. Even if that is not going to be your career, go and experience the thrill of working for an international organization, uh, getting into new places, meeting new cultures and so on. It's worth it. Uh, then it's upon you to decide what your career is going to be. Uh, but uh, having the opportunity to experience it is worth it. From my experience, uh, I was telling Archie this morning, my colleague, that if there's any part of my life I would like to repeat is my days in college. I think those are the most wonderful days, so make use of your time in college fully. Enjoy your friends, enjoy your studies, enjoy your, your teachers, because there will never be a time like that again. When you are young, you are free, you are discovering new things, you are, uh, a leader is formed through the kind of people you work with. It is not something that is uh, artificially made. So you emerge as a leader in terms of what you do with your fellow students, the initiatives you take, the kind of discussion you have with them. And it's for them to decide whether they are giving you a position or responsibility or not. You cannot impose yourself on them. And that's why I'm saying that uh, in my experience as a student, that was the most wonderful period of formation, of character, mm -hmm. and of strength in, uh, in yourself.